Essex class carriers, the ships with wings. World War II ushered in the era of a new type of Navy powerhouse, moreover battleships, enter aircraft destroyers. For targets on land, fighter planes and bombers were responsible for much of the damage, but to attack targets halfway across the ocean, they needed a portable airbase. After all, planes could only travel so far with limited fuel capacity, and many of the Pacific Islands that time were firmly under Japanese control. Aircraft carriers solved their problem. With the ability to launch entire squadrons of planes at any moment, these massive ships became the heart of every naval fleet. The ones with the biggest role to play in the Pacific theater were the Essex-class carriers. 24 were produced, and 14 of these saw combat during the war. Each had different specifications, but they were all built in American shipyards and sent through the Panama Canal toward Pearl Harbor. From there, they were deployed to fight naval battles in the Marianas, the Solomon Islands, the Philippines, and the Japanese archipelago. Heavily armored, equipped with anti-aircraft guns, and fitted with torpedo blisters, they could withstand a lot of damage. The Japanese forces were not able to sink a single Essex-class carrier to the bottom of the sea. With a single aircraft carrier, a hundred fighter planes, bombers, and dive bombers could be launched thousands of miles away from land. Opposing forces could fight battles in the sky without the ships ever sighting each other. The only thing they feared were the kamikaze, or spirit wind attacks. The anti-aircraft guns could blow up planes in the air, but nothing could stop a plane that transformed itself into a bomb. US aircraft carriers were especially vulnerable. Unlike the British carriers, they had wooden decks. Each kamikaze that hit its target claimed many lives and put the ship out of commission for weeks or months. With no proper burial ground, Marines would fire a gun salute to pay respects to the dead, then lower their corpses into the Pacific.